Hi everybody, it's Julie and we have had our paper and our lace and I did add a few more things to both of them. Um, I'm avocado, di avocado dyeing paper and lace and trends and I actually put a piece of material, wet material in here as well. I use the oranges to and put them in a bowl to help keep this <laughs> down to see if that would help um, by holding it down that maybe it would stay under and it seemed to really help here. Okay, so these are looking pretty amazing and it's interesting that we have depending on the makeup of the item that's in here we have um, different colors so we have I did add this banner and what I've done is I have foil on, on every flat surface in my kitchen I'm done I'm gonna dip them um, to, to get that a uh, little bit of stuff. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and drape on these tags. I'm going to drape the flower like this, and I have done that before, and it does like a lace doily does. And so we'll go ahead and just put those. So I am just taking them, turning them over, putting them on paper or foil. I have foil pieces all over. So I'm going to make a journal actually out of this later this week and um, we'll see. <laughs> ah, we'll just leave that. We'll see how that how that works with the this coffee dyeing or not coffee. <laughs> it's automatic to say coffee dyeing because that's usually what I'm doing. So this is in case you wanted to see all the different colors. I also coffee dyed some of the my vintage ladies. Um, they are a digital download in my Etsy shop. And look, they came out kind of peach. We'll see how they do when they dry. I have them on, I don't know what, what pound it is but it is a thick card stock that I had gotten at Michael's in the clearance section and it had no wrapper on it. But I was happy to get it because, and here is one of my new music pages. This has been printed in the um, wallet size. Okay, so these are the thin papers. They didn't really take it so much so far, but we will see because sometimes as these dry, they actually do take on more color. Um, I am air drying today. I am not using my oven. I have too many things going on to be paying attention to my oven today. Again, I'm just laying these out they will be everywhere all over my kitchen i even brought out two of my little portable tables and then with what's left over my plan is to um to do large pages forgot to turn that one over. I want to turn them over to get any of the avocado residue off. Okay. 
I don't think it'll hurt anybody as long as they're not allergic to avocados, but I don't even know if that would matter. And I go ahead and leave the strings in on these because I can always use the string for something else if, I, if I'm going to take it out and use it for um, for something. Uh, if I'm going to add like a, a different color. Okay, and then we have these big index cards and they came out more peach. Interesting. So it almost looks like I've got some very rosy purple, almost purple, and then some peach so far. Okay, come to these. I've got some papers right up here. Just trying to fit as many onto the sheets. I have um, sheets of foil that I use for dyeing. So how, how can I get the most on here? <laughs> More tags. What are your favorites so far? I like the, the tag. I wonder, I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to how they're actually gonna, gonna dry. I'm glad I did so many of them. So this is fun, but it does take time. The dyeing takes time. Um, but so far, I'm very happy with what we've got going on. I love these, the color of these tags. Oh, wow. There may be two junk journals this week. There may be. Sorry, I'm reaching. Trying to fit more, more things on. Bring this over here. Okay, more of these. If you want, um, oh wow, these one that that one right before that one was darker. Look at the other side. Look at that. Oh. This is so cool. Okay, now we have index cards. Small index cards. Oh, good, and it looks like we have a good amount. We should be able to dye some, like, copy paper. Cool, so these are coming out the peach color. This is interesting. Oh, this one is, look at this. Oh my gosh, those are gonna be cool. <laughs> I'll definitely be doing this again, I think. Oh, the envelope is the pink color, matches the, the tags. I like to open, make sure you get all this stuff out. Open the envelopes for drawing. And then these are the panel cards. The larger ones, and they're peach. And the small ones came out peach. So, 
is what we have there so far. And then, let's see, we have the lace. And I'm gonna go ahead and, so this was an off-white lace. Gonna lay these out so that they can dry. This one was white, so it's more of the. It's kind of in between. I'll be able to use that with either one. The first, oh, it's definitely the the pinky purple color when I get it over here. I did add a couple more laces that were um, sitting here that were pieces when I was um, going through some stuff. There were just some pieces left. So, this is interesting. And look at this one's peach. Definitely peach. So, I have peach lace drying on one sheet and I'll have pink on the other. So this one, this is the double one. And it is kind of right in between, but it's more peach than pink. Now I want to make sure that, that I have it flat. If it's flat lace, um, because I don't want to have to mess with it. Wow, it's really in between, this one. In between the peach and the pink. Good long piece. Ah, here we go, here's the little one. Oh, dishwasher. must have bumped it. <laughs> I told it it couldn't it couldn't be going while I was doing this. So another pink. Oh my gosh. This is exciting. So one avocado and I was able to I filled my um, that pot about three quarters full of water. And then I boiled it for about an hour, and then <laughs> it was time to go to bed. So I went to bed, and I got up, and I boiled it for, I added um, two cups more water to it, boiled it for another hour-ish this morning. Wow, look at all this pink. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. So, looks like the off-white or cream-colored lace turned peach. And then the white lace turned pink. And some of them are kind of a little bit in between the two. This is one of the pieces I think that was, oh, maybe not. Let's just say extra. So I, I am really excited about this. You know, you can buy white lace and dye it. You know, the other thing is, is I went and I bought a bunch of the Easter dye. And I'm going to try that. So, I'm calling this Trash to Treasure Tuesday. So, what was your tr our trash today? It was the avocado. <laughs> um, and we did eat the avocado with breakfast yesterday and it was delicious. Um, yes, I don't really care for them. I do eat them every once in a while. Every once in a while I actually want to have one and I do like guacamole sometimes. So 
but for the most part, I am, I am not a avocado fiend. Um, our brother and sister-in-law have an avocado orchard now, so we get avocados every once in a while. So, and I know my mom puts from the other day, we had a whole bunch of avocados and she put them in the, put the rinds in the freezer because we, I didn't have time to look up if we could dry them and use them later or what. So this one came out very pink. This was the cotton, the white cotton, very rosy, rosy rose. Love it. I love all of it. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. And then I put a piece of white material in also. I guess a couple pieces. I thought I would be able to make, you know, something for the book using that. Pretty exciting. Don't you think? I think it's exciting. <laughs> yeah, look at, and look how much we have left to be able to do the large papers. That's exciting. So this is more, um, actually this is kind of right in between the peach and the pink. And that could be because it wasn't in quite as long, but it was in a pretty good most of the time as the others. I have the that hanging over the um, Okay, let's get out. A large And of course, I didn't grab, I had grabbed the doilies to put on it, but I didn't grab the poppies. Okay, coming back, I got it. So we have that, and then we also have, I mean, this is what, look at all that we still have. So I was hoping to have enough to do um, papers for a whole, um, journal. So here we go. We'll just go ahead and put these in. We're going to put them one on top of each other. And again, we're going to leave them in. So we are avocado dyeing. It's interesting that this can do this. So I'm going to be... You know, trash to treasure, I'll be dying different, using different trash, seeing what we get. It'll be fun. Um, also, I have been saving my junk mail and other stuff for the last month, and we'll be doing a totally junk, junk journal. Junk mail, junk journal. Um, junk mail and, well, and trash. <laughs> and it's got, it's getting kind of funny. My husband had to buy some, um, oh, he bought something for working on the plumbing on the SERP mobile home and, or command center. And, um, <laughs> It's like ties of some kind or something. And he goes, oh, I saved you these <laughs> in case you could use them in your 
in your crafting made my day actually made my day okay so we'll keep putting these in here I'm really like I said I'm impressed with how these other page papers came out they are drawing totally a pinky purple some of them and some of them are totally peach so uh, what else am I doing today? I'm going to be avocado dyeing this. I've got a little bit of Happy Mail to do. A couple videos. I have some laundry <laughs> to do. I have all of that lace from the Ben Franklin Lace Shop. When I went shopping for lace. Um, that I need to put onto cardboard pieces so that I can use it. Um, they are so big, so long, that they don't fit on my giant lace hook. Uh, they, they'd go all, you know, all the way through the house. So, um, so I need to, um, to put those on. I'm going to put them on cardboard pieces. I'll show you that at some point. And, um. And then they'll also uh, store much easier. I can use one container. And if it has to be two, then I can separate them by the type of lace. And, um, you know, just even for doing the project here and going and getting the lace, uh, it was, you know, it's all in bundles still. It's pain. Pain, pain. So, you know, I want things to be easier to find. Wish this was just a little bit, like, it's like if I had had the original amount, this would be perfect. But I'm going to be grateful that we have this. I've pulled out some lace and paper lace, some um, doilies, and I'll be drawing my papers with those on it. So, and I'm going to let this sit in here for an hour also. I, uh, I hope it's okay it's just copy paper um, the one thing is is I I uh, have all of those vintage old uh, readers digest with the really cool covers and I haven't used any of them because to use them you have to cut down your paper well this might be that one of the things I'll use it for because there's a couple of um, covers that will match these really well and it's a possibility that this paper is going to need to be be cut so I'm curious do you iron your papers I ironed my papers on one of the last books that I did and I loved the way it, it came out it did um, seem to make it uh, Thinner, not as, not quite as chunky. I'm trying to remember what book that was that I ironed the paper. Maybe you remember. Some of you have better memories than I do. <laughs> so. Yeah, and this I thought about doing this live. Well, right now I can't. There's no place to put safely, put my um, computer or my iPad so and there wasn't enough time to be able to um, tell you that I was going to do this so. so 
anyway, here we are, avocado dyeing. I kind of would do the same thing with coffee. I might not do as many pages. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to put in here was some of those time cards. And so I'm going to grab those. And this piece of lace, because I don't want to forget. Okay, so we have this piece of lace. This was a lace tablecloth that I've been cutting up. Okay, and the time cards are over here, and I have a couple of different kinds. I have this one. It'll be interesting to see how they take the, the color. Let's see if we can get a sneak peek. Probably peach. We'll see. Well, I guess we're doing all these. <laughs> I was only going to do one more. Oh, well. Okay, so I think this week you will see the first of my ephemera kits going into my Etsy shop. Um, I've had several people ask for them. They will be... Items from my stash and um, printed from my antique postcards. I've had several people tell me that they are unable to print and would really like to have some of the images, especially the, you know, the smaller images to use for their crafting. So um, that is going to start this week. And... Um, what else would you like to see in my Etsy shop that maybe I can, maybe I can put together and get in there? Okay. This one paper. way up on the side <laughs> okay so that gives me a couple of the It's interesting you push it down and then the water goes back in between all of the things I, I, well, I think it's interesting <laughs> I would so anyway that's what we've got going on and we'll just let this stay looks like we're gonna go on I don't know Maybe peach. I'll have to leave it in here and find out. And of course you can take and splatter with your uh, paper. Oh, can't use the water because I've got, <laughs> I have uh, trays of lace over my sink. <laughs> so we'll just use this towel. So that is where we are. I'm going to go ahead and set the timer for one hour and I'll be back. So if, the, if you're leaving now, find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe and have an amazing day. Thank you for being here. Bye.